the topic of today's conversation is what drives us, kind of tapping into what kind of hidden keys can we actually use to, to spark change, behavioral change. I get about seven to 10 gadgets a day, and it's such a vast array of, it's a, it's a pancake making robot or a new fitness <laughs> device. And it's, to me, it's the ones that do have these behavioral changes that can make a difference that are simple and easy to use. We came up with sort of five pillars that we try to follow. One is personalization. So our products, our services, they have to feel real and personal and they really have to be contextually driven to you versus you versus you. A second is creating a sense of urgency or awareness. And that's often what technology tries to do, create urgency and leave it at that. We do that in conjunction with the third pillar, which is building confidence. And that's about setting the right goals. The fourth one is social support. I think we need to build social support effectively. And it's not just building a chat room where people can talk to other people. It's engineering a social network that has influencers in them. And the fifth is allowing autonomy, supporting a person in making their own decisions. So what we did earlier this year, we have introduced the Philips Sonicare FlexCare Platinum Connected toothbrush that has so many technical technology in it, sensors such as location sensing, pressure sensor, scrubbing and motion, which are able to tell you so much more of what is happening in mouth. And I think it's representative of our vision, really. We recognize that technology alone doesn't change behavior, people change behavior. And so you need the people science behind the technology. 